is you're going to have to do two things. And the first one is that you've got to realize the depth of your own pain, the things that you struggle with personally, because you get those all tangled up together with the issues that your wife has, which makes it really foggy. It's hard to clear that fog away and figure out what step do I take next? So that's going to be one of the things that you're going to have to do as you go through the process is you're going to have to go, okay, wait a minute. Is that triggering something of mine or can I attribute this completely to my wife's reaction to something? So that's something that I would continue to talk with you about is the stuff that bothers you from your past and from your issues growing up and even where you are right now in terms of your career. When you're going through multiple career transitions that really messes with a guy's head because a huge part of your identity is your career. And although each one of those steps that you've taken over the years has moved you closer to what I think you would say is your calling in life, it's still a transition. And with a transition, there's a letting go of something that you know and reaching towards something you don't know, which leaves a lot of uncertainty. So then you get into the relationship with your wife. And if she's also feeling uncertain, and now her husband is changing careers multiple times, now she doesn't have anything solid to hold on to either. So the boat's rocking for her, a whole bunch. And what we want to do is separate the, the boat rocking for you and the boat rocking for her. And I would say this, even if I was talking to a woman, I would say you need to separate the issues between what your husband's experience is and what your experience is. And it's not like you can just completely separate them and everything's cool because, oh, yeah, that belongs over here and that belongs over there. It's actually very interactive. So it's going to create a cycle where you play off of each other. And most often those things are complementary. And by that, I don't mean you say things nice to each other. I mean, <laughs> one drives the other. So, you know, if somebody's pulling on your arm, you know, you might push them away. You might also pull in the opposite direction. But there is always going to be some sort of a reaction that's going on. So that's part of, of the challenge in terms of what's going on with you. Because men very often will ignore their own feelings, shut those off in order to carry on for other people. That's where you get the reputation of being the hero. You have this ability to put your own stuff aside, put on a suit of armor and go charging into battle. And that's really what you've been doing. You've been charging into battle, but you don't really have a place where you can come home to, where you can take off the armor, where you can receive comfort and affection and really enjoy that time with your wife where you can just be who you are and she can meet your emotional needs without that safe place for you to go to it's going to be really hard for you to keep fighting this battle and the longer the battle goes on it's not going to get any easier it gets different but it doesn't get easier it has a different challenge to it and life is like that so we just need to keep that in mind that life is just going to be hard what we want to do is give you some skills where you can work towards getting your emotional needs met and just as importantly, where you can learn to meet some of your wife's emotional needs. Because in reality, when a man knows how to meet his wife's emotional needs, he has the power to light her up. <laughs> 